Today we're going to get started learning how to play multiple notes at the same time. This is called a chord, and in particular we're going to learn how to play a triad, which is the most simplest version of playing a chord. We're going to build on the concepts that we started learning in lesson one, so if you haven't viewed that yet, go ahead back and check that out uh, until you feel confident that you know your finger numbers and you're ready for the next step. However, if you're ready for the next step, let's get started. And as always, remember, don't get frustrated. Be patient with yourself. This takes time. So take as much time as you need to get comfortable with these concepts. And just remember, we're always here to help you online. All right, let's get started. We're going to put our right hand thumb on middle C and each next finger on each next note, as we did in lesson one. But instead of playing one finger at a time, this time what we're going to do is we're going to play the one finger and the five finger at the same time and then we're going to add the middle finger into it so that we're going to be playing every other finger on every other note like this. Now you might say, well, why don't we just stack them up one, three, five? Because that's not really the easiest way to do it with your hand muscles. All right. So let's try a different way. We're going to start by playing the thumb and the pinky at the same time and letting the rest of the fingers point up in the air like this. All right. So just like that one and five together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the three finger and we're going to curl, 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 curl it in until we're right up on our fingertip. And then we're going to add that to the other two notes that we're still holding down. Okay. So don't try it this way. We no, don't do that. Let your one and your five fingers stay down and then curl this one in and add it to the mix like that. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to lift the entire hand up and set it back down again so that all three fingers play at the same time. Now you might say, well, why don't you just lower your fingers like this? If you would lower your fingers in a flat way, what's going to happen is all three fingers are going to come down together and it's going to make it much harder to isolate that middle finger and keep these other two fingers off the keys that we don't want to play. So try it my way, play one and five at the same time, curl, 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 and add that three finger. Then lift the entire hand and play it together. Okay, now you try it. Pause the video while you try it yourself and restart when you're ready. Did you try it? Awesome. All right, let's keep going and learn some more. Now, we did that with the thumb starting on middle C. One and five, add the three, play it together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move that up to the next note, D. One and five, curl, 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 add the three, play it together. And then we keep going. Put it up on the next note, E. Again, get your three fingers back up in the air. One and five, curl, add the three, lift, and play it together. Keep going on F. One and five, add the three, play it together. We're keeping going up. Here's G. Add the three, play it together. Just slide to the side, one and five, curl, 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 add the three, play it together. One more up here on B, one and five, add the three, play it together. And this will be the last one on the next C that matches our first C, one and five, add the three together. Now you've played that exercise for an entire octave, which is eight notes or the distance from one note to the next note of the same name. Okay. Now you try it. Pause the video and restart when you're ready. Did you try it? Awesome. All right. Now let's put this in the other hand because what we do with one hand, we have to do in the other hand. So let's talk about the left hand. We're going to line the left hand up with the five finger on the next C down from middle C, also known as bass C, and each next finger on each next note, just like in the right hand. Let's try the same thing of we're going to play one and five, and we're going to leave the other three fingers pointing up in the air. And we're going to curl, 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 
and add that three finger in there so that we're pressing all three notes down. Then we're gonna lift the entire hand and let it fall. Now, if you're right-handed, you may have found this to be very easy in the right hand. You might find it to be more difficult in the left hand. Likewise, if you're left-handed, you might find this to be very easy in the left hand and somewhat more difficult in the right hand. It's always gonna have a little more ease in your dominant hand, but that's no reason why you can't play it with both hands. So let's try the left hand one more time. Starting on C, one and five. Curl, 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 add the three. Now lift the hand, play it together. Let's do the same thing as with the right hand. We're gonna move it up one note to D. One and five, curl, curl, curl. Add the three, lift the entire hand, and play them together. Move it on up. One and five, curl and add the three. Lift and play it together. Move it on up. One and five, add that three and play it together. We're moving on up to G. One and five, curl, 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 add the three, play it together. Just a couple more. One and five, curl, 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 add the three, play it together, move it on up. One and five, curl, 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 add the three, play it together. And here's our very last one. One and five, curl, 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 add the three, Play it together and we ended on middle C, one octave from where we started. Okay, now you try it. Pause the video and restart when you're ready. Did you try it? Great job. That's the way you do it. All right, now let's expand this exercise to make it more challenging so that you can do this exercise with two hands at the same time. Let's take a look. Right hand one finger on middle C, each next finger on each next note. Left hand five finger on the next C down, each next finger on each next note. Make sure your thumb and your pinky are in identical locations and that there's two empty notes between your thumbs. This is your starting location, C hand position. Now, Put those middle fingers up in the air, play one and five. Now both hands curl, curl, curl. Then lift both hands and just put them down together. There it is, you've done it at the same time. Now let's move it up one note. One and five, curl and add that three together. We're moving up to E. One and five, curl, curl, curl. That's right, and play it together. Moving up to F, one and five, curl, 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 add that middle finger, lift the whole hand, play it together, sliding up to G. One and five, curl, curl, add the three, play it together, that nice curled finger keeps your other fingers off the keys. So it's easy to hear just the notes we wanna hear and not extra notes. Last one, second to last one, one and five, Add the three, play it together. Here's the very last one. Start, one and five, add the three, play it together. All right, we've done an octave. Now you try. Pause the video and when you're ready, come back and start it up again. Did you try it? Great job. So let's summarize what we learned today. This is called a chord, it is three or more notes played at the same time. You can play chords with both your right hand and your left hand, and as you become a better pianist, you will definitely wanna play chords with both your right hand and your left hand. This particular chord is called a triad because there's one, two, three notes in each chord. And the way that we accomplish this chord today with the most ease for our hand position is to start with the outside two fingers, the thumb and the pinky, one and five. Then curl, curl, curl our three finger in so it lands on its tips. Add that, then just lift both hands and drop back into the keys, and that's a chord. And we played that on every note for one octave with both hands separately and together. So this is your exercise now to take your learning to the next level. So start putting this into your regular practice routine of playing the individual finger exercises and now developing your chord strength. This will develop different hand muscles. 
Mahalo for learning with us today. If you haven't already, please click subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be the first to know about our new videos. We invite you to like and share this video. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram, so follow us there for regular updates on what's new at Kupono Music Studio. If you'd like to continue learning with us, click join and become a member so you can access all of our videos for any ability level. YouTube and Patreon members get added benefits like lesson documentation, bonus videos, and more. And check our website for all the latest information about programs at our studio in Maui, Hawaii. All the links are in the video description. Come make music with us anytime. Aloha.